Allied Democratic Forces Insurgency, Wikipedia article audio. Uganda, DR Congo, Monisco. Supported by Background Benny Killings ADF Yaweri Museveni, Michael Kabango, Joseph Kabila, Marcel Mbangu Jamil Mikolu, Hood Lukwago, Yusuf Kabanda A Euro, Ashraf Lukwago 40,000 UPDF 150,000 FARDC 800 A Euro 1,400 Timeline The Allied Democratic Forces insurgency refers to the ongoing conflict waged by the Allied Democratic Forces in Uganda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, against the governments of those two countries. The insurgency began in 1995 intensifying in 2013, resulting in hundreds of deaths. The ADF is known to currently control a number of hidden camps which are home to about 2,000 people, in these camps, the ADF operates as proto-state with an internal security service, a prison, health clinics and an orphanage as well as schools for boys and girls. The ADF was formed by Jamil Mikolu, an ultra-conservative Ugandan Muslim, belonging to the Tablai Jamaat group. Mikolu was born as David Stephen and was baptized as a Catholic, later converting to Islam, adopting a Muslim name and becoming radicalized. He reportedly spent the early 1990s in Khartoum, Sudan coming into personal contact with Osama bin Laden. 1996 ADF merged with the remnants of another rebel group, the National Army for the Liberation of Uganda, during the years following the fall of Idi Amin. ADF Nalu's initial goal was to overthrow Ugandan President's Yoweri Museveni government, replacing it with an Islamic fundamentalist state. The group went on to recruit former officers of the Ugandan army, as well as volunteers from Tanzania and Somalia. Funded by the illegal mining and logging industries of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, ADF created 15 well-organized camps in the Ruenzori Mountains, located in the DRC Uganda border areas. The insurgents remained unaffected by government amnesty and talk efforts as members married local women. According to intelligence sources, ADF has collaborated with Al-Shabaab and Lord's Resistance Army. Receiving training and logistic support, with limited direct involvement from Al-Shabaab's side. Other alleged sponsors of the faction include Sudanese Islamist politician Hassan Al-Turabi and former DRC President Mobutu Sisi Siko. Formed in 1989, ADF carried out its first attacks in 1995. The conflict gradually intensified, culminating in the 1998 Kichwamba Technical College attack, which left 80 people dead, with 80 more being abducted. By 2002, Continuous pressure from the Ugandan army forced ADF to relocate most of its activities into the neighboring Democratic Republic of the Congo. The insurgency continued on a smaller scale until 2013, which marked a resurgence of ADF activity, with the group launching a recruitment campaign along with numerous attacks. 1998 a report of the Congo Research Group at New York University, released in September 2017, indicted the Congolese army commanders of orchestrating the massacres. In Beni from 2014 to 2016. It cited multiple witnesses saying that army commanders, including the former top general in the zone, supported and in some cases organized the killings. 
Sources told it that during some massacres, soldiers secured the perimeter so that victims could not escape. It stated that the first massacres were orchestrated in 2013 by former leaders of the rebel group Popular Congolese Army, which fought in the Congo War of Congo War of 1998-2003 to create a new rebellion and undermine confidence in the central government of DRC. These rebels were working with ADF per the report. However, when the massacres began, the army commanders co-opted many of the networks of the local militias to weaken their rivals. 1999 On November 13, 1996, ADF perpetrated its first large-scale attack on the towns of Bwera and Bondwil Habiria in Cases District. Uganda. Approximately 50 people were killed in the attack. 25,000 people fled the towns, before they were recaptured by Ugandan troops. 2007-2008 On February 20, 1998, ADF abducted 30 children in the aftermath of an attack on a Seventh-day Adventist college in Matandi, Cases District. On April 4, 1998, five people were killed and at least six were wounded, when bombs exploded at two restaurants in Kampala. 2012 On June 8, 1998, ADF rebels killed 80 students of the Kichwamba Technical College in Kabarol District, Uganda. 80 students were abducted in the same raid. In June 1998, ADF rebels abducted over L00 school children from a school in Hoima, Uganda. In August 1998, 30 people were killed in three separate bus bombings perpetrated by ADF. Between April 10, 1999 to May 30, 1999 ADF carried out seven attacks, resulting in 11 dead and 42 wounded. On December 9, 1999, ADF attacked the Katoho prison facility, releasing 360 prisoners held for terrorism. 2013 During March 2007, the UPDF engaged ADF groups in multiple firefights, killing at least 46 in Bundabuchio and Mubend districts. The biggest battle occurred on March 27, when the UPDF faced an estimated 60 ADF troops and killed 34, including three senior commanders. The UPDF claimed to have retrieved numerous weapons as well as documents that tie the ADF to the LRA. 2014 On April 13, 2007, the UPDF and ADF engaged in an intense battle inside the Semulaki National Park, near the upscale Semliki Lodge tourist destination. Force Intervention Brigade Ceasefire and amnesty talks between the government of Uganda and the ADF were held in Nairobi starting in May 2008. Negotiations were complicated by the fragmentation of the ADF's leadership. Non-combatant dependents of the ADF were repatriated to Uganda by the IOM. At least 48 ADF fighters surrendered and were given amnesty. As the threat from the LRA in the DRC waned, the UPDF put increasing focus on the ADF as a reason for UPDF personnel to remain in the DRC. On December 4, 2007, 200 ADF and NALU militants surrendered to Ugandan authorities. NALU, APC, Tablai Jamat recruits, Hutu fighters. Between February Euro March 2012, over 60 ADF insurgents were arrested within Uganda. 2015 
2016 2017 On January 24, 2013, insurgents tortured and later executed 13 people who were previously abducted from the city of Oicha, North Kivu. C-500 Core Fighters In April 2013, it was reported that ADF started a recruitment campaign in Kampala and other parts of the country. Citing a defector from ADF, All Africa reported that some 10 new recruits joined ADF forces every day. In July 2013, the ADF renewed its fighting in the Congolese district of Beni. According to the UN Radio Okapi, the ADF together with the NALU, fought a pitched battle with the FARD, briefly taking the towns of Mamundioma and Totolito. On July 11, the ADF attacked the town of Kamango, triggering the flight of over 60,000 refugees across the border into the Ugandan district of Bundabugyo. Early in September 2013, Regional leaders under the International Conference of the Great Lakes Region asked the recently formed Combative Intervention Brigade under MONUSCO to attack positions of foreign negative forces operating in DRC, including the ADF. On September 23, 2013, three people were killed during an ADF attack in the Watalinga sector, North Kivu, DRC. On September 27, 2013, ADF militants killed five and abducted 30 people in an attack on a health center in the city of Malki, DRC. On October 23, 2013, ADF guerrillas abducted 26 people from the village of Upira, North Kivu, later transferring them to the rebel strongholds of Makembai and Chukhubo. In the period between November 2012 and November 2013, ADF carried out 300 kidnappings. On December 14, 2013, 13 people were killed, in the aftermath of an ADF attack on the Musuka village, Uganda. On December 15, 2013, ADF killed eight people in the Biangolo village, Uganda. On December 25, 2013, ADF rebels attacked the city of Kamango, DRC. Over 50 civilians were killed and many buildings were burnt down. The city was retaken by the Congolese army the following day. On December 29, 2013, ADF rebels launched another attack on the city of Kamango. The ADF militants beheaded 21 civilians and urged the residents of the city to flee to Uganda. On January 17, 2014, the Congolese army drove ADF militants' soldiers out of the city of Beni, with the aid of UNA Euro trademark SA Euro Intervention Brigade Euro Peace Corps. On February 17, 2014, a Congolese army spokesman announced that the military had killed 230 ADF rebels in the aftermath of a month-long offensive, 23 FARDC soldiers were also killed in the operation. On March 23, 2014, South African helicopters struck ADF forces for the first time, in support of Operation Sukola 1. Between 5 Euro 8 October 2014, ADF militants killed 15 people, within the North Kivu province, DRC. On October 15, 2014, ADF rebels killed 27 people in an attack on villages, located outside Beni. On October 18, 2014, ADF insurgents killed over 20 people, in an attack on the village of Bialos, DRC.
On October 31, 2014, a crowd stoned to death, burned and then ate a suspected ADF insurgent in the town of Beni. The incident came after a number of ADF raids, that brought the October's civilian death toll to over 100 people. On November 20, 2014, rebels disguised as Congolese soldiers killed between 50 and 80 people near Beni. On December 8, 2014, militants hacked to death 36 civilians in the vicinity of Beni. On December 26, 2014, an ADF attack resulted in the deaths of 11 people, in the village of Endumi, Ichiri. On January 4, 2015, a joint Monisco, Fardk offensive forced ADF militants out of the Mavur village, North Kivu. One rebel was killed, as government forces seized large amounts of drugs and training materials. On February 5, 2015, ADF carried out a night raid on the city of Beni hacking to death 23 people and injuring one. On March 9, 2015, ADF rebels killed one and injured two civilians in the area of the Semliki Bridge, North Kivu. On April 15, 2015, an ADF attack on the villages of Mataiba and Kinzika, Benimba sector, DRC, led to the deaths of 18 people. On April 23, 2015, ADF rebels massacred five civilians in the village of Kalongo, 6 kilometers northwest of Oha. On April 30, 2015, the Ugandan media reported that the ADF's leader, Jamil Mikulu, had been arrested in Tanzania. On May 8, 2015, suspected ADF guerrillas attacked the Maytembo neighborhood of the town of Mulekir, North Kivu. Seven people were slain in the attack bringing the region's 2015 death toll to over 300 casualties. In early December 2015, the ADF seized a Monisco base in North Kivu, killing a Malawian UN soldier in doing so. South African UN forces later retook the base, attacking with Ruivik attack helicopters. February 29, 13 civilians were killed by suspected Ugandan rebels in the Beni territory in eastern DRC. The killings took place in the village of Ntumbai, located about 40 kilometers northeast of Beni, an area massacres and recurrent attacks attributed to Allied Democratic Forces, a rebel group opposed to the Ugandan government and is considered a terrorist organization. March 20, a priest of the congregation of Karakoli Niamalima was shot and critically wounded like his driver and a child present in the same car. The attackers was the Allied Democratic Forces, a rebel group opposed to the Ugandan government and is considered a terrorist organization. In early May 2016, Assailants from the ADF armed with machetes hacked at least 16 civilians to death in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. According to the Congolese military, at least nine people were hacked to death in an ADF attack in a village 30 kilometers north of Beni in July 2016. The ADF has been blamed for the Beni massacre. October 7 ADF fighters ambush a group of state officials near Beni, killing 22. October 8, the ADF attacks a UN base in Goma, killing two peacekeepers and wounding 12. December 8, the ADF is suspected of attacking a base in North Kivu province, killing at least 15 UN soldiers.